that all of you are safe and healthy. Today, I will be talking to you all about pre-max concepts. Parents and educators play a large role in children's life by helping them learn and develop new skills. Children between the ages of 1 and 5 years begin to explore patterns and shapes. They also start comparing sizes and counting objects. These activities help children solve problems, measure and develop their own spatial awareness, and teach them how to understand and then use shapes. Max encourages logical reasoning, critical thinking, problem-solving ability, and effective communication skills. All of you must have heard me say these words, numbers, and maths. And a few of you must be thinking, what is this all about? Maths, maths is just everywhere. Blocks, games, food we eat, people, and things around us all are related to maths. Children, you must have heard your big brothers and sisters talk about addition, subtraction, multiplication and division and you may have seen your mother and father go to the market to buy fruits, vegetables or even toys for you. They give money and which has numbers written on them and sometimes the shopkeepers give some money back to them. How do you think they know how much to give and how much to take back? It's because all of them learned it in maths. There are certain concepts you have to understand before learning maths and these are called pre-maths concepts. Let's do something fun to learn about pre-maths concepts. See here, I have these two glasses in front of me. One is filled with yellow color water and one is empty. So when I pick up this glass, you can see this is full and heavy. Whereas, when I pick up this glass, you can see this is empty and it's very light. So let's do something interesting here. I'm going to pour this water into this glass. Now, what happens to these glasses? They have exchanged their characteristics. Now, this glass is empty and it's very light. Whereas, if you see this glass, this is full and it's very heavy. So they have changed their characteristics. So through maths, we learn how things are similar so we can put them together in one group. That means they're matching, even when they look little different from each other. Now you can see here, I have a basket full of things which we eat, that is the food. Can I put them in a different type of a group? Let's check this out. Now I have so many items which we eat together in one group. Now let's make another group, sort it out in two different groups. So I have these objects which are red in color in one group and one group is there which is not red in color that is they are brown in color. So from one group I make two groups which are different from each other. Now let's see can we make it into two different groups which are different from each other? Let's try it out. So I'm going to put all the apples together which is a fruit and I'm going to put all the potatoes and tomatoes together which is a different group. Again we have two groups but one is of fruits and one is of vegetables. Now I have two groups. Now just one more thing. Shall we try if we can make it into three groups? Okay, I have apples together. Then I have tomatoes together. And I'm putting all the potatoes together. So remember, we had one group, which is food items. Now I have made it into three groups. So there are some things which are similar in to each other and there are some characteristics which are different depending on them we can put it into different sets and when we pick out something which is different like this apple is so much dark 
So I can pick this out. This is called sorting. This is the odd one out in this group. So what is the benefit of sorting and sets? It is that you can recognize and sort objects after differentiating between their similarities and differences. And what is the benefit of picking the odd one out? Remember, I picked out this apple from this group of apple because it's different in color. So that this is an opposite of making sets. They are seen yet little different. So first, we learn about classification according to the characteristics of quality. That is red color, fruits or vegetable or it could be big and small, tall and short, left and right or it could be according to the quantity like less or more, full or empty. So it is so simple and so much of fun and it's so easy to learn too. All of you can try these experiments at home with the help of your mother, father, elder siblings or even grandparents. You can show this to your friends too. This would, they would be so surprised to see that you know so many things. So have fun learning maths and we shall meet again soon. Bye.